Let's talk about hypothyroidism in children. So what is the thyroid gland? The thyroid gland is a small butterfly shaped organ which is situated in front of the neck just above our collarbone. So the thyroid gland makes something called thyroid hormones which are measured as T3 and T4. And these hormones play a very important role in your child's normal growth and development apart from ensuring that the energy needs, metabolism, heart, muscle and other organs are working well. So what is hypothyroidism? Hypothyroidism is a condition where a thyroid gland makes very little amount of the thyroid hormones. So what causes hypothyroidism? Sometimes children may be born either without or with some defect of the thyroid gland. In such situation, it is referred to as congenital hypothyroidism. However, in spite of having a normal thyroid gland, if a child develops symptoms of hypothyroidism later in life, it is called as acquired hypothyroidism. So what is the cause for acquired hypothyroidism? So the most common cause of acquired hypothyroidism is what we call autoimmune thyroiditis or Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So what is this condition? So basically in this condition, the body's immune system mistakes the thyroid gland for some foreign pathogens like a bacteria or virus and starts attacking them. And the effect of this attack over a period of time damages the thyroid gland and the thyroid gland starts making lesser and lesser quantities of thyroid hormones. And when the level of thyroid hormones in the blood become low, there is a master gland in our brain called the pituitary gland which detects this and produces something called TSH or the thyroid stimulating hormone. And when the TSH starts rising, that is when it is diagnosed. There could be other causes of acquired hypothyroidism which are much less common. These include any surgery, any radiation exposure, certain medications and in very rare situations abnormalities of the pituitary gland itself can also lead to acquired hypothyroidism. Autoimmune hypothyroidism due to Hashimoto's thyroiditis is the most common cause of acquired hypothyroidism. Although we don't know why, ch why some children get it, it may run in certain families. So what are the symptoms of hypothyroidism? So symptoms of hypothyroidism may not be very straightforward. As the thyroid gland is being damaged, the quantity of thyroid hormone goes down very slowly and it may not be easy to pick up the symptoms. However, in children, the most important things to look out for are a slowing in the height of your child, any delay in the pubertal development, especially in the adolescent age group, or if your children is having difficulty in concentration in school, is not able to perform well in school as compared to before, or if your child is beginning to be lethargic or disinterested. Other symptoms of hypothyroidism include weight gain, constipation, dry skin, irregular periods in slightly older girls, and also sometimes it may be associated with hair fall. However, these symptoms are not specific for hypothyroidism and they may be seen in other conditions as well. So how do we diagnose hypothyroidism? So a doctor, a, your pediatrician or pediatric endocrinologist might suspect that your child has hypothyroidism if your child has any of the symptoms mentioned above. So in these situations, some tests are advised which basically includes a TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone and a T4 or free T4 which is the thyroid hormone. In some situations we may have to do something called thyroid antibodies to confirm the presence of autoimmune hypothyroidism. So in autoimmune hypothyroidism the TSH is elevated and the free T4 or the T4 those are the thyroid hormones will be low and the anti-TPO antibodies may be positive. So what is the treatment for hypothyroidism? So the treatment for hypothyroidism is simple. Since it is a condition where the thyroid gland is not able to produce enough thyroid hormone, we need to replace it externally in the form of a small tablet. So this tablet is called thyroxin and it is a simple tablet which has to be taken every day, ideally on empty stomach 30 minutes before having any breakfast or meal and it is important to maintain this time consistently. So after your child has been diagnosed and initiated on treatment, it is important to follow up with your doctor so that we can recheck your thyroid hormones and TSH levels usually in about 6 to 8 weeks to make sure that the TSH and the T4 or the free T4 are within the normal range. 
The other thing parents are often worried about is whether this condition is permanent. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is a progressive destruction of the thyroid gland. Most often this condition is permanent. However, there is no reason to lose hope. As we are only replacing thyroxine, which is a hormone which is not being formed in adequate quantities by your child's thyroid, this is not going to cause any side effects. In fact, not diagnosing and not treating or not taking treatment properly is going to be very harmful. It can affect your child's height potential, pubertal development, mental as well as cognitive development. So it is important to be consistent with the medication and follow up with your doctor regularly.